guys welcome back to my channel i hope you are doing well i know i am i love filming fashion content so for this video i just want to talk to you guys about closet essentials what i think the staple pieces in every 20 something year old's closet should be fashion and style is so subjective it's so personal to each individual person so i probably will have things in this video that you think it's a bit weird, it's a bit random, and it's good, probably gonna be like, what the hell, why is that a staple, why is that an essential? It's an essential to me, okay? But on a serious note, for the staples in my closet, I just view it as, okay, if I had these items in my carry-on luggage, and my bags that I checked in somehow got lost, God forbid, would I be able to last somewhere for a week, two weeks with just these items? And honestly, um, I think I could. I really, I really think I could. Well, let's get into it, shall we? First things first, I'm gonna start with the basic of the basics. A basic tank top. Yeah. Thank you. I got this one from Zara, and honestly, it's just changed my life. Whenever I'm wearing a basic outfit, tank top. Whenever I have really nice pants, but I don't want to do too much on the top, tank top. I want to wear a jacket, but it may get too hot, so I want to wear something cute but classy inside. Tank top. This thing is just useful in every single scenario. Of course, you do not need to have it cropped. A lot of the items I do have in my staples, they are cropped just because I do like wearing cropped items, but that's just me. Obviously, you can get a lot of the same items. Pretty much everything cropped here, you can get it non-cropped. So the next thing I have are t-shirts. You know what? The tank top isn't the ultimate staple plain t-shirts are. I recommend everybody at least has a plain white tee and if you want to spruce it up a little bit, if you want to do more with the colors in your outfits, I would recommend getting different colors. I have one in white, brown, and tan and I will show you them right now. So of course, once again, they're all cropped. I, I, I honestly, I don't know what to do with an outfit if my midriff is not showing. Oh. Oh, so I've always had plain white tees, just a staple in everyone's wardrobe. Whether you're two years old or 89 years old you have a plain white t-shirt in your wardrobe i know you do so as you will see in this video i also like to wear a lot of neutral colors a lot of beiges is it beige or beige i don't know black i forgot i have a black tee as well right, here we go i just really love neutral colors i think it makes you look so classy i love wearing outfits that are just browns and tans and beiges together there's just something about it there's something about it and i feel like i get compliments the most when i'm wearing all neutral colors these are the best kind of nudes let me tell you that right now it's just an easy way to form an outfit and i i honestly don't think any closet is complete like i was saying earlier without a plain white tee next thing i have no i didn't iron it i'm so sorry but i I don't care that much. Next essential is the plain white button up. And I feel like this is especially needed for the working girl. If you work in an industry where you're required to wear smart casual, I just, uh, go to is a button up. A plain white one is just needed. Whenever I have job interviews, it is my go to. I always wear a plain white button up. And I chose to get this satiny one just because it's a little bit different. I can wear this to work, but I feel like I can also wear this to the club uh and whenever i'm wearing long sleeves i tend to go for ones that see i don't know a lot of uh, technical fashion speak but i tend to go for ones that are a little bit baggy in the arms and then have a very long cuff i don't know what it is about them i just think it looks so beautiful such a beautiful extra touch to your classic plain white button up i love her next essential is one of my favorites which i feel like the this item of clothing has been getting a bad rep lately but blazers i love love a good blazer like no other especially if they're oversized there's just nothing like it i think every girl needs a cool blazer in her closet once again it's something you can wear to work and honestly like i know a lot of people don't like this but you can wear it out as well like i love blazers whether you're wearing it with some form-fitted pants and a button-up inside to go to work or you're wearing it with a tight mini dress to go out it's gonna hit every single time. When I got it, I was like, this is way too oversized. Like I wanted a really form-fitting blazer, but oversized outerwear just gives you so much, so much room for outfits. Like you can make so, there's so much I can do with this blazer. And obviously I have one in black as well. This blazer is really nice, but it doesn't have pockets, which is really weird. Next item are some form-fitting pants. 
here I go again with my freaking neutrals. I have this one, which is this sort of off-white gray color. I honestly, what color is that? I don't know. And I have these really, really nice brown ones. These are probably my favorite pair of pants. I've come to realize that I love things that you can really dress up to go to work with and you can also dress down i guess to go out with so i'm 5'8 i'm not super tall but i'm obviously i'm taller than your average girl so when i do get pants a lot of the time they are very very short so i tend to shop in taller sections so when I get the pants, it can reach past my ankles. I really do like that look. I know it probably looks a little bit more laid back, but it's just what I prefer. I think it looks good on me. And once again, forming a closet, forming your style is such a personal experience. You really just have to do what works for you. Everybody has different body types. So my next closet staple is a cool jacket. Nothing competes with a cool jacket. You need I feel like at least one in your closet. So at the moment it is winter in Australia and I feel like whenever I go out, I need to have a, like a, a nice jacket with me. Just because I say it's cool doesn't mean it has to be like extra. I have these jackets and I feel like they're pretty simple but they are very nice colors. Here are the jackets. Oh, the, they're so beautiful. This is the most beautiful shade of brown ever. It's so gorgeous, it's so chocolatey, and it's a nice little bomber jacket. And then this beauty. Do you see that little emblem? And then look at that. Are you kidding me? Oh, that is so sick. I remember the first time I got this jacket, I literally got it for like $18. And I saw the back and I was like, yep. You're coming home with me. Outerwear is just one of those clothing groups that you basically have to wear all the time, especially if you do live in a cold country. So you kind of have to get like really cool outerwear. I also forgot another thing you need. I left it in my closet. It counts as outerwear as well, but it is a trench coat. It's just a classic statement piece. It says all that needs to be said. Trench coats say I'm here and I'm that bitch. Yeah. Let me go get it. And this is she. So for trench coats, I feel like going simple is probably the best. There's just something about a trench coat. Like someone walks in with a trench coat and some heels and you're like, yeah, that girl knows what she's doing. Next thing is one of the staples of staples. It is very dear to my heart and it is a pair of nice denim jeans. And you really only need one, especially if you're going to have really nice ones like Levi. Levi? I personally do not have a pair of Levi jeans, but I know my dad does. And as a Nigerian man, if he thinks something is good quality, you know it's good quality. So obviously there are so many different cuts of jeans. I mainly buy mom jeans and boyfriend jeans just because I really like how they look on me. We don't talk about skinny jeans. No, no, no. <laughs> you know that song that they sang in Sunny with a Chance where they were like, don't wear skinny jeans and literally suck the blood out of your pants. Like that is so, obviously it's really unrealistic, but you shouldn't wear skinny jeans for other reasons. Obviously to each their own, that was a joke. Wear skinny jeans if you like. I just personally don't like them. So these are my boyfriend jeans and they're ripped and they're like a straight cut and I love that. And these are my mom jeans. Put on a pair of mom jeans and a plain white t-shirt and some combat boots and you've been transported back to the 90s. It reminds me of some outfits that I would see in Friends and I still do get inspiration from TV shows like that from photos I see from the 90s. I love the 90s casual look, especially if it has some sort of denim in it. Sometimes I wear double denim because I think it's just such a look. I don't know why we hated double denim in the early 2010s and like the late 2000s, but it's beautiful. Are you kidding me? When you do buy jeans, try different forms and see what suits you best. And if that ends up being skinny jeans, girl, get yourself some skinny jeans. I almost forgot, you need to have the little black dress. The beautiful, beautiful, sleek black dress I think is essential whenever I go to dinner I pretty much always opt for a gorgeous sleek black dress because there's there's nothing quite like it simple black dress black heels and you got yourself a sick outfit I'm sorry a dress could be so ugly in the color red or brown make it black and you're good to go I, there's not much more to say. There's not much I can say. So the last but not least piece of clothing is just a pretty fun dress. Just a fun dress. And it doesn't have to be colorful like this. I feel like I have many fun dresses that are white and blue, but some of them are multicolored. And I feel like you could also have black dresses that are fun, especially if it has some sort of pattern to it. Once again, you can dress it up and wear some heels to dinner, but you could also put on some Birkenstocks and go for a picnic. I was gonna say grocery shopping. This is not a grocery shopping dress. It is a little bit see-through, so you need to wear something under. This is probably the thing that makes me happiest in this rack. Do you know what? If I were to go on holiday with all these things, I could make 
a good amount of outfits for two weeks at least i'd say it would be some uh repeating of articles of clothing of course but i think i could make it work i remember i tried to get this dress from Verge girl for so long and every time i went on the website it would always say sold out sold out sold out and then i went one time and i got it i also got this in black because i just thought it was so beautiful but nothing hits quite like the color does okay so that is the last article of clothing we have for the essentials Let's move on to accessories. Once again, this might not resonate for everybody, but I feel like a good amount of staple jewelry is good for you. Whether you like gold jewelry, silver jewelry, or you like to mix it. Now, as you can tell, I pretty much only wear gold jewelry. I also think a watch, I just think it makes you look more serious than you are. Like, oh yeah, that guy, that guy has a watch. He knows what he's doing. I think a watch and jewelry are necessary parts of a wardrobe. Like I would say if I had to make a capsule wardrobe, is that what the girlies call it? Jewelry has to go in there. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Next thing, a pair of simple sunglasses. I like black because it goes with everything. There's nothing quite like it. When you are driving home and the sun is directly in your eye, you need sunglasses. When you're going out and you don't want to be disturbed, sunglasses, I'm sorry, but it just makes everything look so much cooler. Like, are you kidding me? Be honest, if I walked up to you right now, just your average normal girl, and then I put on the sunglasses and it's like, bam. Who is that? Who is that? Just me, darling, just loves me. And I think that statement glasses are the way to go. Now, I just have these Prada ones and it has this really cool, like angular detailing on the sides and at the front a little bit, which I really like. They do look pretty plain at the end of the day, but they're statements to me. I think an amazing statement pair of sunglasses would be those Versace ones, those biggie Versaces incredible i also really like glasses that are cat eye shaped i think those are so beautiful and they add just this other level of chicness to any outfit do i need to say anything more i don't think i do i think you get it obviously bags are necessary y'all ever go out with a man and all he has is his wallet why do guys do that how do you do that like I need somewhere to put my wallet, I need to put my lip gloss, I need to put my car keys, I need to put my gum, I need to put my hands. I really do like average sized bags. This is my go-to, unless like I'm going out and I, I want to hold a tiny clutch or a tiny bag. Otherwise, my daily bag is this one. I don't really change, I know a lot of people do, but I really just like having one go-to bag at a time. And he really went off when he designed this bag. I remember I saw this lady, she was like an older Filipino lady that I used to work with and she had this bag and I was like what is that I need that in my closet right now so I bought it for my daily bag I would ideally go smaller than that one but I just have too much stuff my wallet is just too damn fat <laughs> to fit in a small bag like not figuratively my wallet is actually just like really like big and clunky I really need to get a smaller one and I really it's a gorgeous gorgeous fat but obviously like it is quite chunky gets in the way sometimes but it does its job and for that I appreciate you. Okay, let us move on to the last category, shoes. First staple shoe I think is needed. It's just your pair of go-to sneakers. These are the Air Jordan ones in the color Seafoam. This color, it is a really nice, like a light sage gray, but for whatever reason, it just goes with every outfit. I think because it is so light, almost like a pastel kind of color. So before I had these shoes, my go-to was my white Air Force ones. And I do think that go-to sneakers should be white, especially if you do work in an industry where you need to dress smart casual, because I feel like white sneakers just look the most professional. Like if you are going to wear sneakers to work, white sneakers look the most professional however this color is very subdued so I think it does the job just fine so my camera cut out earlier but what I wanted to say is that I am a sneaker girly so that is definitely one of my essentials if I am gonna go out I have to have my sneakers in there I'm so is that my feet? So these next shoes are very plain and simple. They're my all black ones or my go-to when I'm leaving the house, when I have to leave the house. These are not regular stiletto heels, obviously, as you can see, but they are flat and they are very, 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 very comfortable. And that is why I got them because my all black shoes 
I'm gonna wear them all the time. Black goes with everything. I was indoctrinated by my mother as a young child into just constantly buying black shoes. For the longest time, I only had black shoes because she was like, it goes with everything. And she was right. That's our wisdom right there. So yeah, whenever I wanna go out, those are the shoes that I pick, okay? I'm loving this mic moment though. I was too lazy to unscrew it. Who has the time for that? Last but not least, we have these ankle boots. Now these are not my go-to ankle boots. They are very beautiful though. I love how they look. I just put them here for the sake of this video because they are i'd say like the most casual heels like i could wear them on a date i could wear them to like low-key i was gonna say the grocery store wasn't me in the grocery store today no you could wear them out to dinner even shopping with your friends they're like casual ankle heels but me personally my go-to are my doc martin jadons or jadens i will put them on the screen right now they are beautiful if you ever need to look a little bit edgy so that is it for this essentials video i hope you guys liked it it was very fun to film let me know what other kind of videos you want if you want to follow me on my social medias they will be at the end of the video and down below i hope you have a lovely day and i'll see you in my next one bye Watching my step ground froze. Most of my day spent long. Same with my bro, he knows. Ay, gotta pay dues. Walking in mud.